welcome to Build, where we are live from London. And today we don't have one special guest, we have got four special guests. Please give it up for the cast and writer of ITV2's hit series, Plebs. <laughs> so we're going to go down the line. So we've got Tom Rosenthal, who you might recognise as Marcus. Ryan Sampson, who plays Grumio. New kid on the block, Jonathan Pointing, who plays Jason. And last but definitely not least, the man behind it all, Sam Lee for the writer. Welcome he, he to is Build. The least. I have to clarify. <laughs> he definitely is the least. He's the least famous. He's not important. That is a very harsh start to the day. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, so if anyone's got any questions for the gang, then please tweet them to us on at Build Series LDN or leave a comment on Facebook and we are going to ask as many as we can in the next 20 minutes. Should we have a chat about plebs then? Go on, as you're that. here. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tom, we're going to start with you. This is series four. There's been a bit of a break since series three. So can you remind anyone? Let's have a chat about where we left off. Where we left off. Where we left off. Cast your mind back. Well, Marcus had a love affair with a with Helen of Troy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like Bella Dane, now starring mm. in a much bigger show than ours. <laughs> 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 uh, and because uh, it was sort of wheeze, weaselly nature, he tried to uh, win her heart by pretending to be in an earthquake or Don't something. Say, why are you saying it in a questioning voice? No, like, what a good. preposterous <laughs> storyline. <laughs> <laughs> Who could write that? <laughs> pretending to be in an earthquake <laughs> or something like that to sound <laughs> rubbish. Time ago. Um, yeah. But uh, true to form, <laughs> he failed to win her heart and she went off with a, a, a big strapping alpha male and Marcus was left alone and sad. Still um, working just, on plebs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> with his little slave, Grumio. Um, but this series starts uh, with a bit of a bang. Uh, because, uh, a literal bang, yeah. 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 Uh, my, my old friend, my old buddy, Stylax, he's, he's dead now. So. <laughs> mm. <laughs> 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 now I'm glad oh, you we just, Is that up. a spoiler for you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Now, this obviously, so the first episode has already aired. It was on on Monday. And there was quite a bit of reaction to the way Stylax was very swiftly dispatched. I mean, the credits hadn't even rolled. It was before <laughs> it started that he was gone. Sam, what, what was your decision? Why did you decide to do it like that? It was brutal. Well, just, you know, don't irritate the writers. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's the rule. Um, well, look... Um, we got on very well with Joel and Stylax for three series. He was fantastic. But when it came to series four, he decided that he wanted to do different type of acting. He mm -hmm. wanted to be in more dramas. He's been in the show called Requiem. Yeah. Proper. Which, proper uh, yeah, stuff. proper shows. Proper acting. Like, like <laughs> Bella Day, where he, um, I think he's chasing ghosts around a field or something. It's but very not, serious stuff. Right, yeah. not in a funny way. So he succeeded to do that. <laughs> but then we had to work out, Tom, my co-writer, Tom and myself, Tom Basden, who plays Aurelius, um, mm -hmm. the water man, um, had to work out how we were going to write, write Stylax out. And if it had been another modern show, we might have said he's gone on holiday or something like that. But seeing as it's plebs and it's in ancient Rome and we've already killed off Danny Dyer, Simon Callow, mm -hmm. Miriam Margulies, brutally. We thought, let's just let's do it properly. Yeah. We had to ask ourselves whether we thought he was going to come back at any stage. And once we decided that probably wasn't going to happen, slab mm. on the head. Mm. Did you speak to him at all? If, has anyone spoken to him since you put the slab on? No, we head? did it for real. Oh, yeah. No one can speak <laughs> he's to him. Gone. Again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, he's not speaking to anyone. Oh. I don't know, Rosie, have you spoken to him recently? Yeah, yeah, I still text him. He's, he's not dead in real life. Well, no, uh, it's all good, and though. He was, he was very, he um, did a little tweet, you know, bigging up the fourth series. I think, you know, yeah. he, he, he doesn't want us to fail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to do uh, just slightly more respectable stuff, which is understandable. We get yeah. humiliated constantly. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's yeah. awful. Yeah, there comes a time in some actors' lives where they no longer want to put on a tunic, go to Bulgaria, and shiver their balls off. Look, live for us. That will, that will never happen. Yeah, that's it. Is that going to happen? It will never, never happen for us. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. what we were built for. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> as much as we can aspire to in life. <laughs> now, Ryan, you have been in the series from the start as well. It's been a long time that Plebs has been on our screens. Mm. There might be people, though, who've seen these new ads for Series 4 and thought, I haven't seen that before. I might get into it. Is it hard to get into? Can someone pick it up now and start watching? Oh, absolutely. Gonna... <laughs> I mean, there's nothing to it. Just switch yeah, it on I, and again, slip right I in. mean, may you I know, interject here? There is quite a lot to it. From <laughs> your end of things, yeah, fine. All right, right. All right. Um, no, I don't. I don't think it's massively taxing in that mm -hmm. respect. You know, it's not. It's not Marcella, for example. <laughs> 
which I've, I'm still reeling over. It's, um, it's very easy to, to slip in and out of. <laughs> but preferably in. Yeah. <laughs> and then not out of. Yeah. Just in. <laughs> yeah. And then obviously they can catch up on all the other series before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah, series one to three is on Netflix, so you can watch that and then... <laughs> yeah, nothing much happens before that. Right? Before this guy came along, Start with was nothing, four. to be honest. Well, Jonathan, you are the new kid on the block. So had you been a fan of the show before? Have you gone on Netflix and seen all of them? I, I did, yeah, when I got the job. Yeah. Uh, no, I hadn't seen it before, but yeah, I then watched it all. And it's great, yeah. <laughs> oh my God! How what? much did you? How much did you? No, okay. when get you up, slab him right now, slab him. <laughs> Can you say your dad liked it? Sorry? Can you say you're like? Yeah, my dad's a huge it? fan. Yeah. 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 Is that why you didn't watch it? No, I just, I just didn't watch it. I don't, there's a lot of things to watch. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of things to watch. I've, I've got plebs I've is got low down the list. <laughs> <laughs> well, what would you put above plebs? What other things would you prefer to watch? No, I just... Uh, Country life. Yeah, exactly. Country life, placing the advert. sun. Yeah. I'm just waiting for someone to buy a house in Spain. When Holmes that happens, under the hammer. I'll start watching yeah. other TV. Cash in the attic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is supposed to be such a lovely show and we've opened up so many rifts already. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> I do feel a little bit like a new boyfriend at like a dinner party or something. When you're all yeah. talking about like your ex. <laughs> yeah. Like politely. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. We'll, we'll chat about series four. We'll keep okay. it in the safe zone. You've seen these ones. You're in them, so we should, we should be all right with this. Sam, it obviously all starts with you writing it. How yeah. long do you kind of and spend... Tom, yeah. m and Tom, how yeah. long do you spend mapping it out and getting things together? Um, it's actually... It's, I mean, it seems to a lot of people who watch it that it should be quite simple because all you're doing is writing Grumio sticks his finger up a lion's bum or, <laughs> you know... That sort of thing. It's, but it takes quite a long time. Um... It probably between six and eight months each series. Oh, wow. So Tom and I, we usually go into we we go to a cottage somewhere and we map out the whole series, just the two of us. Um, it's lovely, and um, so I mean the the tricky thing the tricky thing is not the writing of the scripts, the dialogue. Mm. The tricky thing is the storylining. Okay. So in each episode, we'll have at least three different storylines going. We'll have one mm -hmm. for each of the characters, and then we'll try and make them interact with each other and resolve in some amusing way. So that's the tricky bit. So it's between six and eight months for the writing, and then it's about three months for the filming, and then about another four or five months for the editing. So is that why then? Because Series 3 aired in 2016, so there's yeah. quite a big gap. Is that the reason for the gap? Yeah, um... So we had to come up with the stories, mm -hmm. but also Tom Basden, my co-writer, had another show that he had created called Gap Year, okay. which he was working on. So th that accounts for about another six months. Mm -hmm. And then filming, you mentioned this. So you guys, when it comes to the filming, you film part of it here, part of it abroad, is that right? Can all you tell all us? Of it in all in Bulgaria. All of it abroad. Yeah, yeah. Can you, what's it like filming it? How was it for you, Jonathan, coming into the group? Yeah, it, was, it was amazing. Like the whole... It's kind of like an ideal job because you're in this like new place. New, everyone was really nice, obviously, and I don't know. It's it's just a lot of fun. Like the shooting of it is is yeah, it's loads of fun. We just go to Bulgaria and we stay in a really nice hotel, and <laughs> you get a little envelope full of money every week to spend, <laughs> to spend on food, which you spend on drinks, and we just go out clubbing with Bulgarian people. It's, really it's nice. an unusual life, <laughs> it is. but it's very satisfying. Yeah. And you find that like, after a few months of living in the hotel, you're like a sort of, you know, like, who is it, like the colonel in Faulty Towers or whatever. <laughs> but you're, yeah, and it's like, like when you come back and there's no woman who makes your eggs, you're like, yeah. where's my scrambled eggs <laughs> in the morning? You know, it's, <laughs> like, it's an odd that you get really kind of uh, yeah. used to it in a weird way. <laughs> mm. Sounds very. You look very like puzzled by all of this. You yeah, did no, it. You like. It's just. It's really decadent. It's your ideal life, isn't no, it? Yeah. <laughs> that hotel is your ideal life. The person life. comes into your room every day and cleans it. She just picks up all your clothes and puts it. You can have a cleaner if you want. Yeah. You know, you that are allowed to pick them up yourself. <laughs> no, but what? Yeah, it's it's really. I can't. I mean, I know I can understand it's uh, lamentable because you know a lot of people have to pick up their own pants, but I have a Bulgarian lady does it for me every day. It's a lovely life. I can't complain. 2018, eh? <laughs> it's <just> wild. <laughs> I recommend it. Get in plebs. Honestly. <laughs> you don't even have to Any watch it first. <laughs> yeah. 
So, Jonathan, we're going to have a look at the three of you in action. But first of all, for anyone who maybe didn't see the series opener, we'll forgive them for now. Can you tell us a bit about your character and how he kind of fits into it all? So, he is responsible for Stylax's death, kind of. Uh, mm. It was an accident. <laughs> um, and he kind of goes to the boys to sort of try and get his job back and kind of befriends Grumio and they kind of... He just sort of... I don't know, he really worms his way and he just kind of strolls in and it's just sort of quite mm. instantly happy to be around them. So he thinks, oh, I'll just stay here, you know. Mm. <laughs> Easy peasy, just stick around. Yeah, I can't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a little look at a clip. It is from Monday's episode, so no spoilers if you haven't seen it already, but let's take a look at you in action. I don't know why Joel needed to go and do Requiem with drama like that. That was, <laughs> 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 that was hard hitting, wasn't it? Gripping. <laughs> yeah. He's intense. missing out, he's missing out. Yeah. Well, one thing you definitely missed out on, which we've touched on already, is the filming in Bulgaria. So the show is just is brilliantly silly, it's obviously really funny. What is the vibe like on set? Do you, you know, presumably a lot of fun for a start. Mm, I mean, or I, I, dull? I, I, I would like. say <laughs> all, all of the silliness is sort of squeezed into the show. So actually, in between takes, it's a, it's it's a real like horrible it. environment. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, really tense we're, silence we're suffering. is just yeah. sort of rocking <laughs> slightly. Um, that's actually my prop. Yeah. Don't touch my prop, okay? <laughs> that kind of thing. Uh, no, it is, it is a lot of fun. It's obviously like, uh, it's just mad. I mean, it, it, sometimes you do sort of look the direction the camera's looking and there's, you know, 150 people dressed in togas or carrying vegetables for some reason because the director yeah. thinks that makes it look like real Rome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it That's is, what they did. It yeah. is just the further you get into the background, the more like random the, yeah, the extras get onion. so the, yeah, there'll be a man with an onion just like walking backwards and forwards yeah. like that it's like oh you can't see him it's deep background anyway yeah. <laughs> so when it goes and you just go up to them and be like what are you doing and then you do your like weird sort of B Bulgarian English hybrid that you do you do just, I? you speak very simple English to them and they still don't really we've understand. never yeah. discussed this before this, no, this we've been working together six years he's not told what, what do I do? well no it's just like when you're doing a big crowd scene yeah like Simplify louder and slower. English to such a point, you're not communicating anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you can also see them like, we still don't speak English. Yeah. Like, just because you're doing this, it doesn't mean anything <laughs> to me. Sam and does that. And then it, when, so he. That's why it's taken two years for the show to come yeah. back. It's, it's just all empathy. coming out now, isn't it? Yeah. And, he want, and he wants to direct him. And so, like, when Ollie Locke came on, we noticed that we were watching him take after take. He's directing Ollie. First, he starts off going, Great, Ollie, that was great. If you should get a bit more. Second one, he goes, Ollie, that was absolutely fabulous. Great. Okay, so <laughs> Next one, he's like, Bitch, yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. <laughs> like, this you've got to like, speak to them in a language they understand. <laughs> I don't think he needed it. <laughs> also, the first AD was Glaswegian, which to a Bulgarian that crew. Was amazing. Was, yeah. It was, yeah. There was. First direction, then this sort of Graham going, right guys, you got in the gate round here, quick, it's possible now. <laughs> and just like, yeah. extras just start moving because they think, he sh they assume they're doing something wrong. It's like, yeah. no, where are you going that way? Fucking that way. Get the onion and go that way. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, w I watched the makeup girls every time he said six as sex. Then they would all go, sex. Like, it was like they're 14, you know, but that's all they could hear. <laughs> So uh, another thing you mentioned, so you mentioned that Ollie Locke coming on. One of the things Pleb does really well is you've had so many great celebrity guests, celebrity mm. cameos, all sorts of really unexpected people pop up. Have you got anybody that you, maybe for you, Sam, but for anyone else that you'd love to work with or you'd love to see on the show that hasn't been on it yet? Well, I mean, we had Jim Rosenthal, so that was like the, the peak. That was, he was top of my wish list. In fact, we only hired Tom to get to his dad. <laughs> <laughs> so we had him as a, um, a commentator at a chariot race, yes. shouting through a, a metal cone, which was mm -hmm. fantastic. Um, the one that I've really got my eye on, <laughs> I'd say... So we've had, we've had great ones, as we said, Danny Dyer, mm -hmm. um, Ollie Locke, Michelle Keegan, um, Simon Callow. So we, we Who are all great, but the one that you really <laughs> want. <laughs> Eric Cantona. Eric Cantona. Say it, say it down the camera. Go on. An Eric, appeal. An appeal. <laughs> Eric. Eric. I would love you Eric. to be on plebs at some point. Uh, S'il vous plaît. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. That's for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and we did an interview the other day with um, Vernon Kay. Vernon and he an expressed an interest. And we were like, I like, I like Vernon Kay. I prefer kind of, Eric Cantona. He's got a kind of plebby vibe about him, though. You know, it's, yeah, no, he's good. It's, it's nice to get a mixture of the, of the, um, the guests between 
people who you would expect to see in ancient Rome. For some reason, you'd expect to see Simon Callow in ancient Rome because he's sort of, you know, the I Claudius mm -hmm. uh, RSC type, and everyone in ancient Rome obviously spoke British with a RSC accent. Yeah, 100%. And people who you wouldn't expect to see in ancient Rome, such as Michelle Keegan, Danny Dyer, Ollie Locke, mm -hmm. people from different walks of life. So it's, we, we have, I mean, that's probably the funnest part in the whole process, when anything is possible. We've written the script, and we think, who would we like to play this sort of second tier gladiator. Mm. Oh yeah, Danny Dyer would be great. And then seeing if we can get them to do it. I love hearing about that bit. Like when we're doing the read throughs and you go, who have you got for all these different parts? It's, it's just a really, it's unusually exciting on this job. And have you guys got a personal favorite to put you on the spot of the celeb guests that you've had and worked with? I mean, my dad on. <laughs> you have to say your dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah fair shot. He, he'll definitely be watching. He's very, very diligent at looking at all my press stuff. So I love you very much, Father. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say Miriam Margulies delivers in a big way. <laughs> like The impact she brings both on and off camera is quite significant. Like, mm. she's an incredible... Is she individual. just everything you hope Miriam Margulies so, to be? So much more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, she went to me, um, she said, um, Oh, you must come, you must come to Italy. I have a place in Italy. You must come. So I was like, Really? She goes, Yes, come for a holiday. Yes. And over the few weeks, she's going, Come along. You know, you bring, bring friends, come along. And the, the prices are, I've got a, a printout just there for you. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> 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 I mean, she's absolutely incredible. <laughs> And Jonathan, obviously we haven't seen, you know, you've kind of just entered the fray, but how's it been filming this series? Yeah, it was, it was, it was great. I, I mean, the first, the, fir the first day, first day of filming, I don't know, it, everyone was just made sure that I didn't feel, I don't know, uncomfortable or like hated. He was trying quite <laughs> well, hard actually, to make you feel uncomfortable. I'd say that, yeah. He was horrible to you. Actually, pretty much from the off, it would just be as soon as it was cut, it would be like, you're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> You're awful. Yeah. Why are you saying it like that? Yeah. I found that quite funny. I, it I, was I, quite I, funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry for doing that. Yeah, and I, then I, on, I, on Twitter la last week, you started a Bring Back Stylax campaign. <laughs> 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 he was leading it. <laughs> I miss him. <laughs> It was very it was easy to, to welcome John because he was fantastic and we were so confident about it. There was quite a lot of anxiety about when we made the move, when we would, whether we would find someone else mm -hmm. who would fit in so easily. And as soon as, we, as John had his first casting, we were all relaxed again. So yeah, it was, and it was, yeah, it didn't really feel like a replacement. It felt like a very different, yeah, it was, it was a very different character. It's a different feel, different setup. So, yeah. We quite enjoyed uh, doing little impressions of how he decided to make his character choices. So at the end of every take, we'd go, I'm Jason! <laughs> oh, please like me, I'm Jason! But see, what you don't know is in between, Sam would be like, go for it, just go for it, go for it, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are getting a lot of love on social, and we had a question come in on Facebook from Alex Cat, who says, Hi. you know, we're on series four now, but have you thought about a series five? Is this gonna be the last one? Have you looked that far ahead yet? Well, actually, I'm still editing series four. Straight after this, I'm going back with still working on episodes seven and eight. So, oh. um, <laughs> so I'm still fully in with your episode seven, The Accountant, episode, really exciting titles <laughs> for the series. <laughs> that one's uh, a thriller minute. <laughs> and episode eight, Beer. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, look, as long as Tom and I can think of stories that entertain us, Mm -hmm. um, and as long as there's an appetite for it from the audience and from ITV, um, I think that we would keep on doing it. And also, because we've just done one series with John. It'd be all good if it's if, we, if it ends it now, oh, it's basically it's his fault. It's going to look bad yeah. on him, isn't it? So, no, it would be good to do a, another series with this guy. Yeah. We like yeah. you. Oh, I like you too. <laughs> but equally, there's a lot of slabs in ancient Rome. So yeah, yeah. yeah. There's the <laughs> yes, there's a lot of <laughs> slabs to go around, so... <laughs> So sadly, we are running out of time, but we're going to finish on a quick-fire question round. Ooh. It's really easy, don't worry. So I'm going to ask you a question, and then you can name yourself or one of your castmates. Sam, you get free reign. You can okay. name whoever you want. So we'll start with a nice one. Who makes you laugh the most? What, like in the show? or like when uh, you're still Generally, in, in the show. Does it have to be one of us three? No, it can be like somebody else. Tom Basden. Basden. Me. Tom Basden. Mm-hmm. Funny guy. I'm, I'm going to say me. 
<laughs> That's the kind of guy Such we work with. A modest answer, Sam. Which of them makes you laugh the most? Joel Fry, every day. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the most distracting on set? You. You are. You're I distract myself, so I'm going to go for me as well. A lack I have of a focus short, in this yeah, guy. Yeah. I have a short attention span. I don't I really understand the question. I don't, how do you get distracted by, by a person? Because you know how you're supp- you know how you're supposed to be at work yeah. and concentrating on something. <laughs> what do you think? Who's, who, who does who works? I think your like your back or your knee is the most distracting <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh yeah, he does a lot of like weird like sort of limb stretching exercise yeah. mid yeah. through a scene. So you're trying to do a scene, and it's like sorry, yeah. sorry, <laughs> 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 like, oh, like, yeah. Oh, you Actually. found that that bloke quite distracting. The guy. Oh yeah, the guy. With the he would, that's distra- that's yeah. what she what means by distracting. Absolutely, he's so distracting. Well, they um, they're very good at getting very characterful uh, extras to stand mm-hmm. cause, you know. So Sam will cast people um, uh, who look. I mean, there's one man who just looked exactly like God, like he's like yeah, on the ceiling. Yeah. And ceiling. <laughs> that was the casting brief. And this one man, he looked more like a sort of Michael warlock. Douglas. Remember oh, yeah. the guy? Oh who yeah, just, we just had yeah. Michael Douglas as an extra. <laughs> yeah, but this bit that I find them very distracting because often they will just sort of uh, like deliberately just look at you when you're doing your <laughs> acting. And if you turn around and you see God looking at you, it is quite hard. That to is going to yeah. put you off, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Or we've got one extra who's in like a one-man competition to be the best extra he can be. And so his like his reactions to everything are like, <gasps> like this. <laughs> Absolutely huge. Yeah. That guy really can carry an onion like you've never seen it. Yeah. <laughs> that is distracting, actually. You're right. Okay, it was so actually two gods, wasn't yeah. there? And they we've stood together Zeus at one point. God. Yeah, it was like... <laughs> Guys. This is the final one because we really do have to wrap sorry, this that up. Sorry, wasn't very quick fire. <laughs> no, like quick fire, yeah. guys. Sorry. Who would make the best emperor? Me, me, uh, me. I think Tom because you've got this. What? Uh, Dune, I don't think it, I don't Dune McKeegan. Dune McKeegan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Flavia. Do you mean Should like, be a fabulous like, emperor. like benevolent you, emperor or like crush their enemies? Emperor? Yeah, I crush your enemies. Oh, I think I think Ryan, Ryan could do that. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tom. <laughs> I've got a lot of rage inside. <laughs> <laughs> Well, sadly, we are out of time, so you're going to have to carry on that debate backstage, I'm afraid. And we will. We absolutely will. (laughs) We definitely will. Plebs is on ITV2 on Mondays at 10pm, so make sure you tune in. And you can also catch up on the ITV Hub and the first three seasons on Netflix. Please give it up one more time for the cast and writer of ITV2's Plebs. (laughs) 